And this particular work that's been included is essentially a work in progress. And the idea behind the project was that I was going to isolate um, fetal calf cells from two calves um, and then later immortalise them using viral DNA, um, using plasmids, um, which would then allow those cells to replicate indefinitely, unlike um, normal cells which will only replicate about 50 times and then they stop. So the idea was to immortalise the cells and then display them in a custom-made bioreactor along with the mummified bodies of the calves. Um, unfortunately, the bioreactor hasn't been completed yet, so it's still in stage of development, and that's been included in the show as well to sort of showcase um, that it is a really long and involved process to actually get to the point where you can show living biological matter um, as part of an um, exhibition. Um, so the dioramas that have been included in the show sort of tell the story of, um, of the calves and the dioramas include um, the actual tanned hide of the calves that um, I kept when I was isolating the cells and that was actually from the skin that I isolated the fetal calf cells and the little chairs are kind of represent representative of the um, calves themselves, Kira and Rama, which was a boy and a girl. Um, and that includes the fur of the fetal calves and you'll see the images of the actual cells which were isolated printed on the chairs. Um, the little cell vials there um, are actually in indicative that the cells are actually currently frozen and they're awaiting their transformation. Um, and that's why you'll see on the work there are little butterfly wings which have skulls painted on them. And they're sort of talking about the eventual um, resurrection and transformation of the cells. So um, the work really looks at the way in which um, contemporary biotechnologies really do change um, our understanding of um, life and death, particularly because the two calves had been dead for about two days. And even though their bodies had been dead for that amount of time, I was still able to um, isolate living and viable cells from those dead bodies. Um, and these cells can potentially live forever in the right um, laboratory conditions.